Hello, Celeste again. Um, today I want to show you how I made this cane. It's not perfect. I am not a caner. I am not anywhere near to know any design or expert or professionalism on canes. But I did manage to make a little cane that has um, some design with the swirls effect in, in the inside. This cane is very easy to do and I use it on my slabs. Um, so I was um, asked to do a little tutorial on it so I'm going to try to make it as easy as I can. So for the first part I always have a safe for the slab I would have this is um on my four on four on the on four on the pass machine. Okay settings on four would be the thinnest um going from one being the thickest, four being the thinnest. Um, so my passive machine goes to seven, this is a four. What I do is I use always a cutter to cut exactly the same amount of clay on each color so that I would have the same amount for each and it comes out really nice and just little square, little rectangles. I don't use a whole big cane because I don't make it that much, that big because my earrings are pretty much six to eight pieces per design so this is pretty much my little tray and it's just little pieces of canes not even an inch inch and a half um long which would be good enough for me i don't want my canes to last more than three months or maybe less so let's start i have a pink and this pink is mixed with some translucent Cernic. And I'm going to do the black on top. Okay. And then for this, because they're rolled both on four, but when I get them thicker, get them together, they become thicker. I want to be able to roll it. So I'm going to go ahead and put these two on the pass machine on four again. And it comes out a little bit longer, thinner, perfect. I want to keep my black for the outside. And I'm just going to start rolling. I'm going to make this flat so I don't want to have any air bubbles in there. Just go roll it. Roll it and becomes a real beautiful swirl cane. I'm going to cut on the top, cut on the bottom. This light is on my head. Okay, so then this is how it looks. And I'm going to use this and press it. I want it thicker. I want it fatter. So I'm going to press it to make it about an inch, about half an inch. Okay, that would be pretty much half an inch. Okay, so what I do with this, I'm going to Cut it in half, and then I'm going to cut it in half again. Okay. Half and half. Okay, so this is how I get the square. I'm going to turn these two circles. This is the circle, this is the circle, right? So I'm going to turn it facing the back to each other and facing the back to each other, okay? Now I need something 
for the metal. I'm going to use the same but on black, gold, and silver in black, white, and gold. I mean this black, white, and gold. I'm going to use this one because the center that I have is it's like a fuchsia and silver. So I want to use this one. Okay, and we're gonna do the same thing. We already had cut it in four, so we're gonna turn it this way. I'm gonna turn it this way. See, almost a square, but we're going to have the king right in the middle. Okay, right in the middle. And then we're going to Ooh, I'm liking this color here and the patterns around it. So we're just going to go ahead and keep pressing. I need to practice a little bit more on my reducing because I am not patient, but we're working on it. Okay, so this is how you create this one and I added on this one um, kind of like stripes around the circle like say I have this here right this is the circle here so you have this one the circle and I have this one I have this one. So instead of before I cut, I say I have that one and I this one